there i'm going to show you in this video how to make this flower it's the same one as i have on my hat and i just did it in different colors but you can choose whichever colors you like it's a very easy flower and i'm going to show you how to do it and then if you look in one of my other videos you'll see that i have the hat pattern and the flower you just simply sew onto the hat and um, let's get started all right, so this is a video on how to make a flower. I've specifically made this flower for the hat and I do have the video for the hat. And if it's not posted yet, it will be posted, but this is the flower for it. I'm going to show you how to make it and um, let's get started. All right, so to do the flower, you're going to chain three and then you're going to slip stitch in your first chain and just make a ring uh, then you're going to do six single crochet in this ring so I'm going to just actually start off with six straight single crochets one so make sure you get into the middle and then you're going to slip stitch into the very first one that you made sorry that one so it's going to go into this one here You're going to just slip stitch, whoops, if I can get it through again. You don't want to go too, too tight because it's hard to get them through. Okay, so you slip stitch and now you've just done round Now one. you've just joined it together. You're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet in that same space because we are increasing in this round. So where I have six double crochet, I'm going to end up with 12 because I'm going to do two double crochet in each of these double crochets. Oh, sorry, single crochets. So one, two, so each single crochet that you had made, you're going to do two. And sometimes you tend to forget. I just keep doing that all the way around and you should end up with 12. Okay, so we've just finished our 12th single crochet and you should have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet. You just slip stitch into that one. Then you're going to chain two. This is now round three. You're going to chain two and then three double crochet in your next single crochet which will be there so three i mean yes three double crochet one two three and then you're going to chain two and then in your next single crochet you're going to just do one single crochet now you're going to be doing this all the way around so you're going to do chain two and then in your next single crochet you're going to double crochet three one two three and that's all in that same those three double crochets are all in the same stitch and then you're going to do two chain and then you're going to do a single crochet in your next single crochet and that's the the pattern that you're going to do all the way around until you have six of these so you should end up with six of these. okay so now you're going to add your new color over here and you're going to do 10 chain one two three four five six seven and then you're going to do a double crochet into your fifth chain from the hook so you're going to see that's number one over there so that's one two three four five so there's the fifth chain from the hook you're going to do a double crochet and then you're going to do another double crochet so that gives you two Okay, so you've got your six double crochets, then you're going to skip all of this and you're going to be going into the single crochet that you made over here in between your little clusters. You're going to just do one single crochet in there. 
And what actually happens is this gets pushed forward, so it's like a bit of a bunchy look. Don't worry that you've got a hole there because it doesn't, when the whole flower is complete, you'll see. Now you just do your 10, your 10 chain again, and you're going to one. do the fifth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth chain from the hook, and you're going to double crochet six down in this one, one over here. And then you're going to do your single crochet. Just skip all of this and go into this single crochet that you had made. So you just do a single crochet in there. Now you're going to do this all the way around. So you should end up with six petals. So you should have six of these because you had um, six of those clusters. So just do, keep doing this all the way around and I will show you how to do okay, the Okay, so you've come all the way around and you've done six petals. You've got six and now you went into your last single crochet over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start going up our petal and we're going to be coming down. So you're going to start off by doing two single crochets. So you'll go into your first one, one, two single crochets and you're going to do two half double crochets. That's one. two halves and then you're going to do two doubles. Two double crochets and then you're left with your space at the top here where you did your five chain. So you're going to do five trebles in there. Now you're going to come down your petal. You're going to do the same thing but just reverse it. So you'll start off with two double crochets. So you'll go into this first one over here, else you're going to run out of stitches. So you'll do a double crochet in there, double crochet in the next one, then two halves, two halves, and then your two singles. Whoops, you don't wrap it around. One, two. And then you're going to do one single crochet in this single crochet here that's in the middle. You just do a single crochet there. And then you're going to do the same thing going all the way up. So let me show you again. You're going to do a single crochet in there, single crochet in there, and then you're going to go up again. So you'll do your half there, your second half there, and then you've got your two double crochets in there, your five trebles there. Come down and remember to go into that first stitch there, you're going to do your double crochet, double crochet, two halves and then your two singles and you're going to go into here yeah, with a single crochet and you're going to do that all the way around until you have all your leaves and you until you come back to this one and you'll just go back into that single crochet and finish your stitch and there you have your flower. Okay, so here's the end of your flower. You should have gone all the way up and down your petals, done six of them and just gone into your single crochet and finished it off and they're very versatile you can use them for anything I have used mine for my hat pattern and um, I'm glad that you joined me in this video I hope to see you in my next one thanks bye